Grief, Professor Peter van Woolenhoven, Ambassador Geertz, Dominion President Wolf Hedman, and Grand President Charles Belzil will now take their positions for the tree planting ceremony. I invite the Honorary Chaplain of the Legion and Chaplain General of the Canadian Forces, Brigadier General Dave Kettle, to deliver a prayer of dedication. I invite you to pray with me. Prion. Almighty God, during a time of great peril and human suffering for the people of the Netherlands, the spirit of resolve filled the hearts of Canadian troops who made a triumphant effort to ensure the liberation and freedom of Dutch citizens. The victory achieved in 1945 has forever bonded Canadian forces troops and the people of the Netherlands. We give you thanks for the liberation of the Netherlands and for the friendship force between Canadian and Dutch citizens these 65 years. We pray for Elizabeth, our Queen, and Mr. Stephen Harper, our Prime Minister. Nous prions aussi pour la famille royale des Pays-Bas, la reine Beatrix, et ses fils, le prince Willem Alexander, le prince Friso, et le prince Constantine, ainsi que sa soeur, la princesse Marguerite. Nous prions aussi pour le Premier ministre Jan Peter Bolkenend et nous implorons Dieu tout puissant de continuer à accorder ta grâce au peuple hollandais aujourd'hui et pour toujours. Eternal God, through the sacrifice of Canadian military personnel, in collaboration with Allied forces and the Dutch people, liberation and peace will restore to the Netherlands, acknowledging all who gave themselves to this noble cause. We are grateful to all who serve and for the goodwill and friendship earned by their sacrifice. So we now dedicate this tree and accompanying plaque to your glory, to be a perpetual memorial to those who sacrificed so much in the cause of peace. May the warm, fruitful relationships shared between Canada, the Royal Canadian Legion, Canadian Forces members, and the people of the Netherlands always be a sign of our faithfulness to one another and of your faithfulness to us. I invite you to pray through the God of your understanding as I pray through Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Amen. The inscription on the granite boulder that is being unveiled by the royal couple reads, the Royal Highness Princess Marguerite of Professor Peter van Woolenhoven of the Netherlands planted this tree of friendship during your official visit to Canada in May 2010 in appreciation of the bravery and crucial role of Canadian soldiers during the Second World War leading to the liberation of the Netherlands in 1945. Princess Marguerite, who was born at Ottawa Civic Hospital in 1943, is considered Canada's princess. Together with her husband, Professor Peter van Woolenhoven, she has always maintained a warm personal relationship with Canadian veterans who had helped to liberate her country. 2010 marks celebrations of 65 years of friendship between Canada and the Netherlands. This tree symbolizes the strength and longevity of the bond between our two countries. As it grows, so too will our remembrance of the past and celebration of the future. London Plain Tree, Embassy of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, the Royal Canadian Legion. <laughs> 